Okay, so on the couch with Paul and Nikki, and today we're going to be looking at the topic of what is the biblical gospel message. Nikki, what do you think the biblical gospel message is? Wow, okay. The biblical gospel message is the good news that Christ came for every single one of us because he knows that none of us can be good enough in ourselves to have salvation in this life and to be have our relationship restored with God. So what he did, he sent the Father, sent the Son, the Son Jesus Christ, down to earth, God incarnate, to die on a cross, be buried, and resurrected back to life on the third day and he conquered death in itself so that me and you could put our whoever puts their faith and their trust in Jesus Christ as Lord believing in what he did for us on that day and um, putting our faith trust just all of that and confessing with our mouths that he is Lord that it says whoever does this will be born again and saved through Jesus Christ and through his blood and what he did for us. Yeah, because there's a lot of gospel messages that are kind of floating around the church nowadays that don't conform to that kind of standard of teaching that the apostles gave and that Jesus himself gave. And that is basically repentance <clears throat> and faith. Uh, if you ever add a good work to salvation, even if it's a good work of being baptised in water, there are a lot of people out there today who teach baptismal regeneration that you can't be saved unless you're baptized in water or if you're mm -hmm. um, you can't be saved unless you speak in tongues and this type of thing these are false gospel messages because very clearly we see in the scriptures people who are being saved and spirit filled who don't speak in tongues or they haven't been water baptized yet so clearly salvation is not rooted in a good work or an act or a manifestation it's rooted in repentance which means mm -hmm. to turn back to God change your mind turn back to God and to place your trust your faith in the death the burial the resurrection of the lord jesus christ because his atoning sacrifice upon the cross and his blood shed is what pays the penalty for our crimes against god or our sins against god so it's very very important that we we teach that pure mm. gospel message today mm. um so why do you think nikki that there are other gospel messages kind of circulating out there especially like things like the prosperity gospel i think um people are so afraid these days to upset anyone or to offend anyone um, and unfortunately Jesus' name to some people is offensive people it's okay to mention God that seems to be okay because people can say oh well, my God is this whatever they think their God to be but whenever you mention Jesus Christ is Lord and is in he's the King of Kings the Lord of Lords he's God incarnate um, I think people that does upset people and I think the reason it offends and upsets people is because where people are still living in sin and they I think people ultimately recognize that themselves but perhaps they just don't want to acknowledge it because whatever it is that's some problem in their life perhaps they've, they've they've not particularly liked God for something that's happened to them back in their life like a real tragedy and whatever's happened so some of these things that have really hurt people and have um, upset them perhaps they've blamed it on God yeah. and so therefore when when Jesus Christ and the true gospel message is mentioned that we must repent as John the Baptist always said repent repent for the time is at hand time is near um, and, and turn to Christ, turning away from all your iniquities. I think to some people they struggle with that because of that sin that they're living in and because of the fact that they were hurt and they think, well, why God did you let this happen? Why did you let that happen? So it's difficult for them to acknowledge Jesus as Lord. And yet I do genuinely feel that people deep down know that Jesus is yeah, God. I think it's because of that and because of some upset that they've had, some torment that they've had, they might perhaps hold that against Jesus and, they, and so they think, well, I don't wanna know. Yeah. I don't wanna hear it. And so the church perhaps has seen this, some of these churches, and so they, they want to appease people's feelings. Cause I mean, none of us, we don't wanna upset people. We want people, we wanna love people. That's what God is love, you know? And he puts his love in here for us to love others but equally true love as we were you were talking about the other day is to be obedient and to be obedient to Christ is to share his true word um, and I saw so, yeah I believe maybe some of these ch uh, churches are just uh, uh, afraid to share this because they want to appease 
people and just sort of mm. you know go softly softly but as we know in true life sometimes and I know myself the softly softly way doesn't always work because sometimes we need a hard-hitting message we need to know we want the truth at the end of the day and if you don't have the truth you don't know God what have you got that's right exactly. and God says I am the way the truth and the life and the Bible says that the gospel is an offensive message. It is going to offend people because it confronts people as sinners. It tells us that we're the ones who are in the wrong here. And we have to put things right with God. And who wants to hear that? Who wants to hear that actually I'm not as good as I think I am? Mm. But in reality, truth is always better yes. than a fabrication or yeah. a lie or a story. Um, because, you know, an example of that, of course, is let's say you have a very serious illness, you go to a doctor. Would you want the doctor to lie about the fact you've got a serious illness? Of course you wouldn't. Yeah. You want the doctor to tell you mm. the, what serious illness you have and then give you the cure for it. And it's the same with the gospel message. Humankind have a serious, eternal illness. It's going to lead to eternal death. And we need to hear that first in order to respond to the cure that Christ brings. So that's his death burial and resurrection mm. um, from the dead. And so by placing our, our trust and our faith in him today and returning to him with all of our hearts, we can be saved. Thank you so much Amen. for listening. Amen. See God you in bless. the next episode of On the Couch with Paul and Nikki. Yeah. God bless. God bless. Bye.